Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well today. So last night I cut out a new dress project that I'm going to be working on today and I'm really excited about this one. It's currently the week before Thanksgiving and I usually like to make a new dress or outfit for different holidays. So I think this is the dress I'll wear for Thanksgiving this year. I'm working with a vintage Laura Ashley pattern, which I actually used to make a dress last year, but this one's going to be a little bit different today. So this is the pattern. This is a 1970s. 70s McCall's Laura Ashley dress. It is so, so cute. I'm going to be making the shorter version today and I'm actually going to make it a little shorter than it's originally designed to be, to be a little bit more like a mini style. Um, and I'm also going to be altering it to have long sleeves. So I'm really excited about it. And I'm also really excited about the fabric I'll be using today. It's a Rifle Paper Company fabric and it is so cute. Let me show you. So I've already cut all of my pieces out and this is the fabric. This is from the newest Rifle Paper Company Bramble collection and this is just one of their cottons. It is so, so pretty. I love the colors in this particular print, the blues and peaches. I just think it is so lovely and they very kindly sent this to me as well. If you do want to shop for some Rifle Paper Company fabric, I do currently have a discount code so I'll be sure to put that on the screen here in case you guys want to check it out. But I absolutely love this fabric and I can't wait to work with it today. So this is the previous dress that I made out of this pattern. Skirt is very wrinkly right now. I need to give it a good iron, but I absolutely love this dress, particularly the bodice on this one. So I will be keeping with the same bodice design with the drawstring here. I might swap this for some ribbon. I think that could be really cute, so we'll see. And I'm also going to be making it with long sleeves. The pattern does only have the short puppy sleeves, but I am attempting to adapt that. So we'll see how it turns out. This one is made with vintage Laura Ashley fabric. So the goal with this one was to be very in keeping with the original style of Laura Ashley. This new one is going to be very different, I think though. So I think my goal for today is to get the main assembly of the dress done. I'm going to start with assembling the bodice and there is a nice little drawstring casing around the neckline on this design. So I'm going to start there and then we'll just see how far I get today. Okay, so I'm ready to get started sewing this project. I'm going to start by just sewing the shoulder seams for the bodice front and back pieces to attach them together. And then I'm going to add the casing for the neckline. So there are two of these pieces and they meet in the center front so that your drawstring can come through the center and tie in a bow in front. Now I did not have enough fabric to cut these pieces on the bias. So I'm really hoping that I'll be able to manipulate them with my iron so that they still lie nice and flatly around the neckline. I can't remember with my previous project if I actually had enough fabric to cut them on the bias or not, so we'll see how this turns out. So I was just pinning the casing to the neckline and I'm noticing I have a ton of extra fabric here. So I'm thinking I may have cut out the wrong pattern piece. So I'm going to go double check because if this is the drawstring instead of the casing, it's possible I might be able to get the other piece out of bias cut fabric. So I'm gonna go check on that and report back. Okay, my suspicions were correct. That's exactly what happened. So I was able to cut these pieces out of bias fabric after all. So I'm gonna go ahead and redo this pinning with these pieces. Okay, so here's where we're at right now. I just finished top stitching all the way around the casing, so that's ready to go, and I think it looks really nice and neat, so I'm happy about that. So I think the next thing I'm going to do is add the gathering threads to the empire waistline here, and then also sew the side seams. I think what I might do on this project is assemble the bodice and then attach the skirt 
before I do the sleeves just because I don't really feel like doing sleeves right now. So I think I might do the skirt first. Okay, so the skirt is now assembled and it's a very simple skirt to assemble, just four panels, two in the front and two in the back. So now I'm going to attach the skirt to the bodice. Okay, so the dress is really starting to take shape here. It is a bodice and skirt attached. And I think I'm going to take a little break now. I do have work this afternoon, so I'm going to have some lunch. And then this evening when I'm feeling hopefully a little bit more motivated to do sleeves, I'm going to sew the sleeves on. And that's my last goal with this for the first day of sewing. I just want to get everything kind of assembled and then I'll do the zipper and back seam tomorrow and probably the hem as well. So it is now day two of working on this dress project and last night I was able to get the sleeves attached. I ended up having a phone call with a friend who lives in a different time zone so I was on the phone quite late last night but I got a little bit of time to sew so I just set the sleeves in and then I still need to add elastic to the bottom of the sleeves but I think it's already looking so cute as it takes shape. I'm really excited about it. So my goal today is to do the elastic on the sleeves and then the back seam zipper and the hem. And then let me show you what I'm thinking for the neckline. So the neckline is designed to have a drawstring here. And I think because I want to give this more of a fall type of look, I'm going to use velvet ribbon. So I ordered some green velvet ribbon from Mood Fabrics, which should be in in the next couple of days. Hopefully the color will look good. And I think that's gonna be really cute and give it a little bit more of a fall touch. So hopefully that works out and I'll let you guys know a little bit later. But for now, I'm going to get started by adding the elastic to the sleeves and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so the sleeves are finished. I just added an elastic casing here to the cuffs and then just a little bit of elastic so that they have more of a puffy sleeve type of look and I think they turned out very cute. So now I'm ready to move on to the zipper. And when I made this pattern previously, I know I used a old school style zipper instead of an invisible zipper. I don't even know what the technical name for this is a normal zipper I guess um, but I have a bunch of these I think these came from a garage sale or something so I'm going to use one again on this dress just because it's something I already have that I can use up and I know that this pattern is designed for this type of zipper so I think it'll work really well so I'm gonna go ahead and add the zipper do the back seam and then try it on and hem it and hopefully I can finish all of that in the next hour that's my goal People are smiling, making plans, hiding behind their shades, and you're doing the same. No rain, no flowers, nothing's growing where you're at. Heart is fire, but baby, I bet you're cold without me. Even if it's 90 degrees, without me, I bet that you can get it. Yeah. 
California The sun is always shining bright But if the sky would so I've just tried the dress on and I am so excited about this project already. Um, I think I need to even out the hemline just a little bit because it is looking a little bit longer in the back than in the front. So I'm going to adjust that and make sure everything is even, but I really like the length. So I'll probably just serge the lower edge and then turn that under so it's a nice narrow hem. I think the sleeves turned out really cute. This is fitting a little bit um, strange in the front just because it still needs the drawstring, but I think it's gonna be a very cute dress, so I'm excited. Okay, so I just finished sewing the hem and I did end up actually turning this under twice because there was one place on one of the seams where you could see a little bit of the selvage. I think it was, yeah, it was on the center back and I wanted to make sure that wasn't visible on the front of the dress. So I think that worked a little bit better. Um, and it looks very nice and clean, I think, as well with that hem. So the only things left to do on this dress are to add the ribbon or the drawstring, and then I want to just tack down the ends of the zipper in the back and add a hook and eye. So since all of that is kind of like handwork, I'm going to save that for when the ribbon comes in the mail and I can see um, how that works and if I want to use it. So I will update you guys on that soon. <music> Hey guys, so it's been a few days since I have caught up with you. I've been waiting for the velvet ribbon to come in the mail and today I was waiting all day for my package from Mood Fabrics to arrive because I knew it was supposed to be delivered today and it finally came in. It is the end of the day now, however. So this is the ribbon that I ended up getting. It's quite a dark olivey green, but it is a double faced velvet ribbon. And I feel like because it is velvet, it will blend a little bit better, even though the color is not an exact match for the green tones in the dress. And I also feel like the darker color will give it just a little bit more of a seasonally appropriate look. So I'm really excited to add this and see how it looks. So I'm going to work on adding this to the neckline and also working on the final handwork for the back of the dress, just adding a hook and eye and tacking down the edge of the zipper and then this dress will be done. So I think tonight I'm just going to finish it up. I've been watching Dash and Lily on Netflix, so I think I'm actually going to rewatch the last episode because it was so cute. And I've been really enjoying getting into the Christmas uh, spirit, even though it's not Thanksgiving yet. So I think I'm going to do that. I also wanted to show you guys, I bought one fabric in this order as well. And I've been wanting to make another little A-line skirt, like the ones I made a few months ago. I made two pink ones, but I want something in black and white. So I found this fabric on the Mood Fabrics website and it's actually listed as a Balenciaga fabric, which seems a little too fancy for me, but it is a really pretty houndstooth pattern. So I think in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to try and make another little skirt like that because I think this will look a lot better with black tights and black boots than the other two I have. And I think it'll be really cute. So that's another project I need to work on. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and get this dress finished up. Okay friends, so it is the next day and I am finished with this dress. I love how it turned out. I've been a little bit under the weather for the past couple of days and still not feeling 100% today, um, but I'm so excited to have this dress done and I can't wait to wear it for Thanksgiving this year. I'm going to get some better clips of it so you guys can see how it looks. <laughs> here. I just love this style. It's almost like a baby doll style dress and it's something very different that I haven't really had in my wardrobe before and I also really like the addition of the velvet ribbon. It's just very comfortable and I'm really looking forward to wearing this for Thanksgiving later this week. 
I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing how this dress came together. I loved getting to interpret a pattern that I made before in a very different way, and I love the way this one turned out. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching the process as well. But I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up here. I hope you all have a wonderful week, and if you are in the US, happy Thanksgiving, have a wonderful holiday. I will see you guys very soon in some Christmas videos because it's time. So I'm gonna be working on those actually after I wrap this video up, and I can't wait to see you in my next one. Bye. Thank you.